What's up, everybody? It's your favorite vein, psychopath's favorite nerd, and uh, today we're going to be looking at Generations Voyager class Whirl. Um, and I got to say, I like this guy. I, I, I like him overall. I've got some complaints, but overall, I like him. Uh, this is a solid Hasbro figure at an affordable price. This is what I want from Hasbro. You know, not not perfect, but I like him. Um, I'll get into a, a little bit of that. Uh, later, um, but I like him. I kind of feel like, just to, to touch on it briefly, I kind of feel like World is one of the coolest characters in IDW. Um, Hasbro has been doing a lot of IDW-esque characters, and pardon me, this was their chance to cash in on a really cool IDW character, and instead they went for the G1 look. Now, I like the G1 look, don't get me wrong, but, you know, this was, you know, this is... People care about world because of IDW, let's be honest. Stop fooling yourself, whether you like IDW or not, let's be honest. So, uh, let's take a look at articulation. Head, has, and it has the light piping, which doesn't really work well because the, the bit that gets it is very small. Excuse me, it's right there in between those two blue tips. It's very small and it's shattered by the two blue tips. So head is on a sorry. Head is on a ball joint. Shoulders are on a hinge and a ball joint. Um, and uh, you know there's different ways you can kind of position yours to get a more imposing look or whatever. Um, so that's cool. Uh, double jointed elbows, which is nice. Uh, the hands don't really do much, but they do open. And then close, and they're they're on uh, these like gears right here, so they will like they almost you know like they they're they're pretty cool. Um, I haven't put the stickers on yet. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with them. Um, I have a theory about the stickers, but I'll get into that in a second. Um, no waist articulation. Hips are on a universal joint. Uh, knees bend backward. Um, so it kind of has the chicken leg bit, which is IDW-esque, um, but it's not IDW, right? Okay, I'm, I'm just trying to keep it all together. And then nothing for the ankles, really. Um, they have these spurs here, and we'll talk a little bit about that at the end. There's, there's a lot to talk about with this guy. Let me comment on the stickers. Um, people have mixed feelings about the stickers, and my opinion is this. This is a pretty good figure. Not perfect, but pretty good. And he's twenty five bucks, twenty two bucks to twenty five bucks, um, unless you got him from some online retail retailer that 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 took advantage of you. It's twenty twenty two to twenty five bucks. I think the reason why they were able to do this figure for that price is because they didn't paint Autobot symbols and all that kind of stuff on him. So they give you the sticker sheet, and if that's how we got to do it to get what we need, I'm okay with it. All right, batteries dying, race against time. Let's get this bad boy transformed. Accessories off. Skis. You flip the blue part back, it unlocks it, and then you slide them up. Slide them up. And arms. These are geared, which is pretty cool engineering wise. So they collapse and then they peg on to themselves. That's what the double joint is for. Collapse, rotate the bicep, um, and then collapse onto itself. Um, not that it's a tricky part, but just the, the part that takes a little bit more of an effort is this whole piece, this whole, let me try to get it a little bit more, this whole back piece comes up, the tail, you gotta un peg these and then the tail will come out and down giving you the clearance to gear these two together at which point they snap in there peg in there and then the shoulders tab in here from the, and it's just a matter of getting it to spin right on 
get up there it is and now there's some third mode that's goofy as all outdoors where you're like walking around like this and it's like just to say well he's a triple changer and he's not you slide this bit up and then he dumb so uh let's uh finish going get the legs right fins out good way to remember it um and then they collapse up here, they peg in there. Collapse up here, peg in there. Boom, throw on the guns. Uh, you know, just, it's, it's there. It's, it's really good, I like it a lot. I, don't get me wrong, I like it a lot. It's just like it's, it's almost perfect, but not quite. Do you know what I mean? Like... Did you pay the electric bill? Yeah. Yeah, I paid the electric bill. I... I, I almost paid it. I, 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 I pretty much paid it. I almost paid it. I'm close enough. I almost paid it. What do you mean you almost paid it? Well, like, I, I, I'm not an idiot. I went online. I pulled up the bill, I typed in and logged in, and uh, brought up the brought up the amount, and then I hit the amount I was gonna pay, um, and then and then I and then I exited out of it. So I I, I almost paid. Unbelievable. And then you can, you know, you can arm them up, put the gun in, and here and there's plenty of different options. You know, it's kind of what you want to do and. Put these in, you know, if you want to do that, you know, you know, if you want to do that, you can also clip stuff onto the side, you know, there's, there's plenty of stuff, plenty of stuff you can do, um, you know, it's just kind of in how you want to do it. So, yeah, pretty cool, uh, you know, both propellers spin pretty well, and it looks pretty cool, pretty cool. I have to admit, though, I'm, I'm not crazy about the Super Armament Road, I'm kind of okay with just the front, the front gun, and, you know, and maybe even like this, really. I'm not crazy about big guns, you know, like, I mean, big guns are cool and all, but it's just like, some, it, sometimes it seems just excessive, you know, like, I, I, I think that looks sharp, you know, it looks clean. So that's my, my point of view. So the last thing I want to touch on before we, before we say goodbye is uh, people have said, well, you know, you can get the ski version if you do a 180 of the, bice, uh, the thigh swivel, and then you can... You know, and then he has a more of a forward knee, and his skis, like, are these skis? I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, I, I get that. That's that's not hateful. I get that. I get that. And I, I want the forward knee, even though IDW is the chicken legs. Um, oh, some little weapon just fell off. Um, even though IDW is the chicken leg. But let's face it, this is not the, this is not the IDW world. Um, so, uh... Outside of that, would I recommend him? Uh, absolutely. 20 bucks, uh, 25 bucks. You know, he is, he's awesome. Good job. You know, I'll tell Hasbro a good job when they do a good job. I just feel like a lot of times it's few and far between, but this is a good job. This is a solid unit. And you know I wouldn't leave you without the little treat. So the Wreckers crew continues to grow. And thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take care.